Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we have a P Bandai release from Mobile Suit Variations, and it's everybody's favorite thing, a Xeon Zaku. This one is the correctly designated MS06R1 Zaku 2 High Mobility Type version anime, also known as the Zaku 2 High Mobility Test Type. Now I say correctly designated because um, a while back a viewer uh, let me know that the Shin Matsunaga's high mobility Zaku figure was incorrectly designated as an R1A type on the box art, but was in fact an R1 type just like this. And this is essentially a repaint of the Shin Matsunaga's figure. Now we'll go into the details of the differences in the three types of high mobility figures that we have in this line so far, um, but to put it pretty simply, the R1 type has thrusters on the back lower parts of the legs, where the R1A type changed those out for propellant tanks. So this one is correctly designated as an R1 type, and the Shin Matsunaga release is also an R1 type. So let's uh, take a look at the rest of the box here on this one. It is an interesting Zaku release. We haven't we haven't seen this specific one before. It, the design is very similar to Brennus Ox's uh, Zaku 2 high mobility type, although this is simply painted to reflect the old MSV line art. So it's not any specific pilot's Zaku. So uh, this also was featured on the box art to Johnny Ryden's high mobility Zaku, where I said that it would be really cool if we got this as a figure in and of itself, since clearly they made it to make the box art for that one, and I'm very happy to say that we finally have it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as I mentioned before, this is a straight repaint of Shin Matsunaga's High Mobility Zaku. So if you want to check this out in more detail, um, you can see the link below for that review and the review for the other two High Mobility Zakus, because in terms of articulation, they're all pretty much the same, and we're mainly looking at the way this one looks, because that's the big difference here. So it has a dark green upper and lower torso, a black chest, and then you have this like yellow green mustard color paint for the rest of the Zakus. Now, as much as I don't like the color scheme, this is accurate to the line art. Now you do have a lot of detail in this, so you have an arrow on the chest there, and then two more on the sides. You have this uh, red box here, this like caution tape that goes all the way around the uh, waist skirt armor. You have these little markings on the elbows, a very well painted backpack. You have 260 on the shoulder here, another uh, 260 and an insignia on this side. You have TM 260 here, double O's on the feet, and some well painted legs. So overall a very nice looking figure. Those are the uh, thrusters I was talking about earlier. So the R1A type has a propellant tank here, so it can have more prolonged use in combat instead of an extra thruster, which is almost unnecessary given the amount of thrusters this mobile suit already has. So very nice looking. So let's take a look at what this Saku comes with. So the accessory list here is going to be pretty familiar. We have a black hand rack, heat hawk hands and gun hands, and two different sets of posing hands. We have the stored heat hawk and the deployed heat hawk, both in black coloring. We have the Zaku machine gun, 120 millimeter, in black coloring. Has the swiveling front handle removable drum magazine that can be stored on the rear waist armor. We have the 280 millimeter Zaku bazooka, where the front handle twists around, the camera twists around. And uh, this is also in a black coloring. The Zaku machine gun and the Zaku bazooka are effect part compatible. And you have a rear waist storage piece with it. You have a replacement antenna. And you have the commander head with the same style of antenna as the other high mobility Zakus. So you can make this into a commander model just like all of the other ones, which looks quite nice. And then lastly here you have effect parts. I'm not going to take them all out of the uh, packaging here, but you have four straight pegged 
thruster effects and six uh, angled pegged thruster effects as well. So pretty much the same accessory list as the Shin Matsunaga release. So we've got the whole crew here. We have Shin Matsunaga's High Mobility Zaku, we have Johnny Raiden's, we have the Black Tristars, and then we have the Test Type. So first off with these two, the, they are the exact same figure. Um, what's neat about these is the you know detail that's added in the paint makes certain areas of the figure kind of pop that you wouldn't see on the other figure because it's not painted like that. So it's uh, pretty interesting how they can get these details out. And there is a emblem on the uh, forearm here that I didn't notice before as well. So, and the Shin Matsunaga figure always looked really cool. But you can see the thrusters I was talking about on the back of the legs there. So the Shin Matsunaga figure is indeed an R1 type. So to compare, we have the Black Tristar Zaku, which is essentially the exact same figure, but the legs are a little bit different. So you can see, instead of a thruster, we have the propellant tank here. And of course, the uh, Black Tristar Zaku has the big giant heat hawk from the Xeon weapon set. So I'm going to move everybody kind of out of the way here. And then we have the R2 type. So it has the uh, much larger shoulder spikes, and then the legs, of course, are completely different and more armored. So there's uh, the backpack is a little bit different as well. So this one has more uh, different parts to it in its sculpt than these other three. So really interesting to see the differences and really cool to have all four of them together like this. So for this high mobility Zaku figure, I paid about $57.50 before shipping. The base figure for this is Shin Matsunaga's high mobility Zaku and it's a really solid figure. So being a repaint, it's just as good as that one. Uh, it comes with all the same accessories and you get the option of having it with or without the commander antenna, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty obscure Zaku design from MSV, you know, being a test type Zaku, not tied to any individual uh, ace pilot. And for that, you know, I love obscure designs. So that's why I went ahead and picked it up. If you can get past the color scheme of it, I think it's absolutely worth it. So it's a uh, probably the weakest of the four high mobility Zaku figures, but still good. I mean, absolutely, like I said, if you can pick it up for, you know, under $70, I think it's absolutely worth it. Being a P Bandai, it's going to fetch that higher price tag, but um, if it's something you can locate, and if you like Zaku designs like me, it's worth having. So thank you for watching the review. Again, check out the links below for all the other three Zaku high mobility type reviews that I did. Um, they're all really neat figures. And thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.